Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We're talking Chanel. I have returned, finally, the little red. Let me show you which bag we're talking about. Here, here she is wearing the little tiny bag, the one that I got for my birthday uh, this uh, past summer in June. This little tiny thing. This is me wearing it in the Chanel boutique before getting it, right? It's kind of like a tiny, what do they call it? Clutch on chain, red caviar. Then um, I bought it, took it with me to Australia. I noticed in Australia that the leather is dry and it's completely cracked. The entire strap. I made a whole video about this. Check it out um, on my YouTube channel. And... And then I said, okay, well, now we're at a point where I'm in Australia. What am I supposed to do? You know, I didn't buy it in Australia, so I have to wait till I come back home, and then I'm going to bring it back to Chanel. And you can check out that video to see all the flaws on the bag, that the cracking of the leather is insane. Anyway, now I finally brought it back to Chanel. And what's the update? Subscribe to my channel first here on the tubes to find out. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and get access to extra perks. You can also follow me on Patreon for extra perks there as well. Thank you to my members and patrons have already pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday and you are all invited to join the conversation, the live chats. Let me cue in my chat. Hi, chat. Uh, so let me tell you guys. Oh my God. Okay. So the second I came back home, um, I was waiting for my sales associate to return from holiday because she was also on holiday. So when I came back home, she was not home yet, but I had sent her from Australia, all the photos of the damaged bag, flawed bag. Cause I did not damage the bag. The bag is flawed. So I returned back home and I was waiting for her to come back from holiday so that she could also then check the photos and contact me and tell me, hey, Jacob, now you can come into the store and you can return the bag. Obviously, between me traveling and her traveling and me noticing the flaws in the bag late over the 15 to 30 day return policy date, I knew that they're not going to tell me when I go back to the store then and there, oh, you know, almost two months after purchasing the bag, actually, no, two months after purchasing the bag, they're not going to tell me, sure, get, here's your money back. Cause I know that they're, they're not very, they don't like to give you your money back. Right. At, at Chanel. Now, <laughs> everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged. However, not however, but you know, some people have been throwing shade at me, uh, saying, "Oh, you keep making these videos. You, you, you know, you, you say you're done with Chanel, and then you keep buying it again." Okay, first of all, to the Oompa Loompas out there that have no clue what is going on, um, watch my videos from beginning to end to find out, because people have been throwing shade at me for no reason. That little red bag. Let me show it to you again. It's right here. This little red bag was purchased in June, a couple of days before I bought my 22 Chanel bag. Now, for those of you who know my 22 Chanel bag issues, I've returned that bag five days after purchasing it, and I did get my money back. But check out that whole story as well on my channel. This bag was bought before the 22 bag. So this bag was bought before I knew there was going to be issues with the 22 bag. I had issues with 22 bag. The 22 bag, I did the unboxing of it on my channel before I did the unboxing of this one. This is the chronology. The red one was purchased before the 22 bag, but the 22 bag was unboxed on my channel before the red bag was unboxed on my channel. Just in case you're confused. After the 22 bag started peeling, 20 minutes after wearing it and I brought it back and I got my money back. I said to y'all, I'm done with their leather bags and their clothing. I had issues with the pre-orders of their clothing. I've shared that in another video as well. Go check that out too. And I said, for that, I'm done. I'm not done with their perfumes. I'm not done with their creams, with their makeup, with their fine jewelry. I have your platinum ring by Chanel. I'm not done with their costume jewelry. 
certain select costume jewelry pieces. For now, I'm done with their leather, handbags, and I'm done with their apparel until I don't see improvement or an official acknowledgement from their end that things that they're, oh, oopsie, you know, yeah, we did try to cheap out or oopsie, yeah, because, you know, during the pandemic, we couldn't get the materials we needed. So we kind of did what we could. We, we made do with what we could, even though we kept upping the price. Whatever sort of acknowledgement, make one Chanel. Do better, and then we're, we're back in business. But I never said in any one of those videos that I would stop purchasing their costume jewelry, fine jewelry, perfumes, makeup, cosmetics. Okay? Still, a couple Oompa Loompas out there come for me, telling me, you keep saying you're going to stop buying, but then you don't stop buying. Uh, first of all, Boo Boo, ever since the Chanel 22 bag, I've returned it. Since then, I have not purchased another leather Chanel bag. So, I do not go back on my word. I do not. So, for those people who kind of come for me in my comments, I mean, I don't care what you talk, if you talk shit about me behind my back. <laughs> Obviously, I live rent-free in your mind, so keep doing that. But, just to be very clear, I'm very consequent. Now. I did not buy any leather pieces, leather bags from Chanel or apparel ever since the 22 bag situation. However, I never said I'm going to stop making videos about this. This is a brand I'm interested in. I wish the brand to do well. I want it to do well. I want it to make great pieces again that I can also crave and purchase and enjoy. Until that time comes, I will have updates for you about other topics regarding this brand, including quality or lack thereof. Parenthesis closed. Now back to the topic at hand, which is me returning the bag. Finally, my sales associate is back from her holidays. Of course, when she returns from her holidays, she has a plethora of messages waiting for her from her clients that drop a pretty penny every season. So of course they have priority. I get that. I totally get that, girl. You make that coin. You make that coin. You have customers that drop 50, 60, 70K a month or a week with you. Yes, you're going to give them priority. You first got to sort out what they need. And then, you know, then you're going to deal with me. I have a return issue because I want to return the red bag. Which red bag? Again, this one. I have another picture for you, a little more, more close up. This little red caviar with gold hardware. I also bought the glasses and the perfume, by the way. So those, this is a photo that I took. Anyway, um, she contacts me one week after she's back from holiday. And she says, Jacob, sure, I'm, I'm in the store like tomorrow or two days from now. Come in with the bag and we can sort it out. And I'm like, yay, <laughs> let's do this. Let's do this, finally. Now, mind you, there's also, um, I also stopped pre-ordering stuff because I was just so annoyed. So the last pre-order I made before the whole shenanigans went down with the 22 bag, the last pre-order I made with Chanel was also not a leather bag, but the last pre-order I made was from the Monaco Cruise Collection. Now, the Monaco Cruise Collection isn't even out yet. The Monaco Cruise Collection is coming out in November of 2022. I'm filming this video in September 2022. So just to keep everything very clear chronologically, because the pre-orders that I made were all made before the flaws of the 22 bag drama, right? And I'm a person, I'm a man of my word, you know. I don't pre-order stuff and then I don't buy it. I, I don't do that to people. I don't do that to businesses. I'm only going to pre-order what I'm sure I want to buy. Unless what arrives is flawed, which was the case with the cardigan from the Mitya Dot collection from 2022. Now, so there are three things that I pre-ordered, right? Uh, a Mitya Dot piece 2022 that uh, hasn't arrived yet when I was writing her about the red bag and two pieces from the Monaco collection. 
So anyway, just to keep it very clear, those are the last three pre-orders that I have at Chanel that are going to arrive at Chanel for me. None of them are bags in leather and none of them are apparel pieces. So I go into the boutique with my red bag, with my bill, with the box it comes, you know, the whole kit and caboodle, and also with the photos, close-ups of the photos, because I know that when they claim a return at Chanel, they also have to send to corporate, to the higher-ups, and to the return claims, pictures of where the flaws are. So, we sit down together, we talk about it, we, of course, she already had the photos because I sent them to her while she was on holiday uh, and uh, that she looked at when she returned back from her holiday. And uh, she, then she had those photos that she had the bag in hand as well. Um, observed everything. We saw all the flaws. The bag is full of flaws. Like the more we, we looked and the more flaws we found. There's a flaw at the bottom stitch of the bag. The, the leather has been kind of just folded wrong and then stitched really quickly on top of it, making the bag at the bottom crooked. Uh, the leather is completely dry, looks like old leather or painted really poorly, so it's cracking in several places. Uh, there, is, The little pebbles of caviar are chipping off slowly. I mean, it's a mess. This bag cannot be repaired, okay? So I tell her, listen, I have these three pre-orders. If you give me a voucher, I'll just pay the pre-orders. You know, I'll add money on top and I'll just do the, because it's not like, I don't, I don't want the money. If you give me a voucher, I'll just keep that voucher and exchange it for whatever's coming next that I've pre-ordered. She's like, well, we can't do that because it's, ex you know, the return time has exceeded that one month return that you have to get a voucher. I was like, yeah, but you know, I was in Australia, you were on holiday. I mean, no, we cannot make an exception. We have to go the route of sending it back in, writing a protocol, writing a whole description of what's wrong with the bag and the photos, send it back to, to, to well, I don't know where. The bag is made in Italy, so... She said they're going to send it to France, but then France might send it to Italy because it was manufactured in Italy. And this is, and I told her, I'm like, hey, listen, I'm going through the same anxiety that you made me go through back in 2013 or 14. Check that those videos are still on my channel. The issues with the little tiny, the micro single flap. That was a drama that lasted over a year of back and forth with them until I had to fight with Paris and then I got a vote. But anyway, so I'm like, are we going to go back to this? Am I going to give you the little red bag? You're going to send it off to France. France is going to send it to Italy. Italy is going to fix the chain because they're not really going to read your protocol. They're not going to read the whole text that you're writing them with the flaw is flaw one. Flaw two, three. There's like six or seven flaws on the bag. I'm like, they're just they're just gonna see the first photo and the first point, and they're gonna like, oh, you're gonna write in the first point chain issue with the chain. The leather in the chain is deteriorating. It's like cracking in several places already because the leather is not good. I'm like, they're just gonna read that. They're gonna exchange the chain. They're gonna give a new chain, and then what? Six months pass, I'm going to get the bag back with the same crappy leather that's going to crack again. No, I don't want that. So if they're going to read, because she says, well, usually, you know, they have a lot of returns. Oh, interesting. You have a lot of returns. Well, good to know. I wonder why that is. So it takes them longer and longer time to process them. So they don't take the time to read through all the issues. You know, if they, they read chain. Oh, okay, let's exchange the chain and send back the bag. I'm like, well, when the bag returns to me, with the new chain. The issue with the flawed stitching at the bottom of the bag, where the leather is fold folded wrongly, will persist. And you know they're going to send the bag back to you six months from now with another chain, but the bottom is still bad. And then you're going to write them again, the bottom is still bad. Then you're going to send it off to them again. Another six months will pass. They'll send it back because there's going to be another misunderstanding. We've been through this. 
years ago. I don't want to go through this again. She's like, yeah, but we have to. But we can at least now, when they send back the bag, if they send back the bag and say, give the customer a voucher, done. If they send the bag back with a new chain and we're still not satisfied with what they did, she said to me, then we can still fight and say, hold on, we also have our opinion and we would like to give the customer a voucher instead. And then they can try to fight to get me a voucher. And I'm like, uh-huh, I see. Okay, well, hold on a minute. Because the problem is this, my dear. And I was very clear to her and I said, the problem is that Chanel keeps raising their prices every time a unicorn farts. <laughs> and they fart a lot. So, <laughs> so by the time that the six months pass, after three price increases, my voucher is going to be worth diddly squat because the bag is already now went up in price. That little bag that I bought is already now more expensive than it used to be. So I'm like, that's not worth it anymore. So if I wait, the longer I wait, and this is what Chanel hopes, because the longer they wait to give me a voucher, the less my voucher is worth. It's very simple math because their prices keep going up, but my voucher doesn't go up. My voucher stays the same. So I told her, I'm like, okay, listen, if you're going to give me a voucher today, fine. But if you're going to wait six months or a year, going back and forth with them not fixing the bag properly, and then after a year, you finally give me a voucher, no. Then I want a refund. Because one year from now, my voucher is not going to be worth the same amount it's worth today. And she's like, well, we can always try if it takes that long. And if finally they offer a voucher, then we can also always talk to management and tell them, hey, it's a return customer. It's a good customer. We don't want to, you know, give just send them the money back, basically. So she says that it's possible, you know, if it works out in my favor, that Chanel does acknowledge the flaws of the bag, that they cannot fix it, that they will give me a voucher. If it takes too long for the voucher to arrive, then they might work out management-wise to give me, to pay me back my money. Because as I told you, I'm like, my money's not going to be worth the same amount by the time you give me a voucher. It makes no sense. It's like, no, I don't want that. So, and I also said very clearly, I'm like, listen, if this thing is going to be such a headache and it's going to take forever with back and forth uh, and with the bag from several years ago that, that was sent back to get repaired, it arrived with the chain strap shorter. They shortened it by seven centimeter. I'm like, okay, let's measure this chain first before we send it off. <laughs> we took photos together, you guys. We measured the chain, the length, the drop of the chain we measured it in the but i'm like because i'm not gonna let's measure this we measured the chain together we have the drop of the chain photo that we have measured together and i'm like but i also want to know is it even worth it to send this bag i'm like or just because now i don't have my money anymore because i paid for the bag i don't have a voucher because you're not giving it to me and i don't have my bag because you took it back <laughs> so I was like, be honest to me. Should I just keep the, because you obviously have absolutely no after sales customer service. It's just not good. You have something that you call after, after care, after, after sales care, but it's terrible, terrible. And I said to her, you know, with Louie, I had an issue with the Speedy 35. Um, I bought it. It was flawed. I returned it. They gave me my money back immediately. She's like, yeah, well, that maybe that maybe means that Louis Vuitton's, you know, Louis Vuitton has more issues than we do. I'm like, listen, girl, <laughs> I don't even go there. Oh, because they're more used to returns because they have more of them. No, I'm like, no, it's the greed. It's it's the system that's set up in place to make it really difficult for the customer to have any sort of satisfaction after they purchase the product, if they are not happy with the product. If the product is flawed by construction because of lack of quality control. Another one of her colleagues passes by, sees the bag. We re-talk about the whole situation. 
he looks at the bag. He's like, you know, it, sometimes it feels almost like these bags are, well, hmm, like the smaller leather pieces are kind of subpar. You know, it's like a quick money maker. And um, I love how honest, how brutally honest he was. He's like, you know, then they should be just honest about it and make the big expensive bags cost a lot, great quality. But the little tiny leather pieces, the small leather goods, if you're going to produce them quickly with lower quality, at least charge fairly for the lower quality. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, we're at this point right now where ultimately the bag is gone. I received my, hold on. <clears throat> After sales service uh, receipt, uh, well, I cannot show you this because it is, has a lot of personal information on it. But I have a list of issues. So they've listed everything on this little list. And basically... It also states on this little paper that um, the bag was still under warranty, that the bag has been delivered. They have to describe it, that, that the bag has been given back to them with its original box, with its original pouch. Um, they, they listed everything under repair service. So it's a reclamation to repair. He said they cannot uh, write a reclamation to um, to give a voucher because the repair services have to decide if it's repairable or not. Um, this is going to be a mess. I, I, I can't. This is causing a headache just reading this pa this paperwork. But anyway, long story short, we're going to wait at least six months before because they're backed up on the amount of flawed leather goods and other goods that they're receiving. So by the time it's my bag's turn to get inspected, they're probably not going to even want to inspect. They're just going to be like, oh, chain, whatever, chain, chain. So lesson learned. Anyway, as I said, I have not purchased other leather pieces, leather bags from them since the 22 bag. This is the last one now that has a flaw that I've sent back. I will keep you updated. However, interesting turn of events. Because as I was there returning the bag, doing the whole kitten caboodle situation, something arrived. <laughs> One of my pre-orders arrived. So, It's also a quite long story. I guess this is a video on its own. Let's do the unboxing in another video, shall we? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Never give up on love. And before you throw shade at me, how dare you? It's not a leather bag. As I said very clearly at the beginning of the video, no more leather bags, no apparel. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Until next time, never give up on love and subscribe.